Well, here I am at the uh, Smart Energy Expo 2021 with uh, my old friend Abby. Uh, Abby and I have known each other for quite a long time and uh, he's taught me a lot about inverters. So Abby, what's this inverter all about? Okay, so Glenn, this is the all new uh, three phase hybrid. So what, it, what the, the main feature that we are trying to establish here is given an inverter that has everything inbuilt. So DC isolators, AC isolators, you name it, it's in there. Yep. Ex except the Wi-Fi dongle, which is extra, obviously. Yeah. So the installer, what he has to do at the end of the day is this gets delivered to the house. He just position it correctly and then inserts the battery inside. That is just there. You can see there. And that is all. That is all he has to do. And then, you know, just, just a few wires, just, just three or four wires. So three phase? This is three phase. All right. A single phase would look the same. Okay, so the so same unit physically comes physical, in single and three phase. Single and three phase. And what power ratings? Power ratings for single phase up to six kilowatt, yep. for three phase up to 10 kilowatt. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, look, this is the front of the unit. It's, is it's extremely trim. Like it, it just is. looks clean. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love want, the floating, to, the floating edge. It to be as simple as possible. Yeah. And yeah, so, and white was neutral color. So yep. we just stayed with that. Now I did have a sneak peek at this uh, before the show started, yeah. and it's, I've got the feeling that this was designed with someone who actually really knew Australian standards. Yes, yes, we, uh, I've been, like you, you personally know me for a couple of years now, so uh, I've been researching a lot about these units. We yep. had we had experiences, we had a lot of designs here, a lot of iterations in this, yep. and then we thought, okay, look, the best way to go about it is, is to keep it simple. So, so that's what we it's just got did. a built-in DC isolator. Built-in DC isolators. It, it's got all the connections to the back for your all PV. The back. Okay, AC yes. in, yes. AC out. Yes. Uh, Grid, you've got comms. EPS you've got, as well. You've got Ethernet yes. comms. Yes, we've got Ethernet as well. Yeah. So, so geeks will wire. love that because it's yeah. so reliable. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And for VPP, you really want yeah. that it's going to work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, cool. one thing about the DC switch that I want to tell is these will be lockable in the off cushion. Yep. So it, they are compliant for Australian. Ah, uh, this is the show model, but you'll have the lockable DC isolator. Yes. Yeah. We'll we'll have a close look at that in a tick but uh, yeah and in terms of battery capacity what can I put into this unit so maximum up to 10.4 yeah right minimum for the single phase you need two batteries each yep. battery model is 2.6 kilowatt hours okay so up to 10.4 kilowatt yeah um, <laughs> up, up to 10.4 uh, kilowatt hours of storage yes all right cool no, that's, that's nice this is this is designed mainly for residential purposes yep. that's why the storage is limited yeah but the inverter itself can actually take more is this a high voltage battery yes they are high voltage batteries ah, each right. around 58.6 kilowatt when they're full oh, cool all right well I think we'll take a closer look at some, uh, this yeah, side of the yeah. unit and uh, discuss some of the features. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Well, here we are at the business end, uh, well, the customer's end, I should say, uh, of this inverter um, all-in-one system, so batteries and inverter. Now, Abby, tell me about the, the switches here. Yeah, so Glenn, as I said, everything is inbuilt, so you don't have to install anything. The installer does not have to install anything extra. So first, we, we've got the grid breaker, so this is um, to switch on and off your AC side. And we've got the EPS for the emergency power supply. So this is to operate the emergency power supply loads. Then we've got DRM, COM, which is general, Wi-Fi for the Wi-Fi port, and the DC switch. This USB port is for software upgrades for, from our end. Uh, uh, there, are, there are Ethernet ports behind this that is used for wired Ethernet connection. Right, so from um, standard's point of view, you've got an integrated lockable, yes. well, it will be lockable when the, the, uh, the production unit comes out, yep. a DC isolator yep. for the PV. Yep. So this is the PV DC isolator. Yes, that's PV. Uh, then from safety, from the AC side, you can shut off the grid side and, and the, the EPS, EPS side. Yes, exactly. And this is a lockable enclosure and it's it also is. circuit breaking, put a lock dog yes. on it. Right, now what's the DRM for? The DRM, it's by default, it's DRM0. Uh, that's general uh, for AS4777. For additional ones, you just need an additional external device to do it. Can you use any of the other DRM functions for VPP? Um, I think you can. I'm not sure yet. I know these things are often just firmware upgrades yeah, yeah. And, and they come later on. Yeah. And all of this is weatherproof? Everything is weatherproof. Right. Everything weatherproof. One additional thing that I forgot to say is battery breakers. Ah. They okay. are compliant. Right. Uh, so you don't need to install any battery breakers as well. That's actually a circuit breaker, dual pole. And this is a uh, screw closed screw unit, closed right? Closed. So yeah. it's actually uh, accessible a only by authorized, authorized person. personnel. So really, um, the customer's never going to go no. in here. These are high voltage batteries too, aren't yes. they? Yes, yes. These are all high voltage batteries. Each battery maximum voltage is 58.6 volts. Yep. Yep. So that each one is 2.6 kilowatt hours, 90% yep. HDOD, and 6,000 cycles. Right. They come with a standard 10 year warranty. Yeah, so it's 
the best in the market. And is this <laughs> the battery that the factory I visited was yes. made in? So yes, I've this, been this, where these, these are the were made. These are, these are from yeah. Chang, yeah. battery factory, yeah. It, it's a pretty impressive factory, like <laughs> one kilometer long, fully automated, minerals in one end, batteries out the other. I mean, it's amazing. You, you have to tell them that there are few floors that with no lights because machines don't need lights. Yeah, <laughs> machines yeah. don't need lights, that's <laughs> right. Don't need lights. It, and basically, it's fully robot control. Fully robot control. Yeah, yeah. So, an, an incredible production uh, of a brand new battery system. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. Look, Abby, we're going to look around the back in a yeah, sec, sure, shall we? Sure, sure. Okay. Um, Around the back here is kind of where the installer gets to see everything going yeah. on. Tell, tell me about the plugs and sockets here. Yeah, so what? here again we have the on-grid, that's for the AC during normal listening. Then we have the EPS for emergency power supply, communication port for your meter, CT or sometimes your Ethernet connections. This is for you know, so RS-4852 external devices, PPP controls devices, third party. So that is for this particular plug. Then we have your favorite Ethernet plug for internet connections. And so this particular model is a 10 kilowatt three phase. So that's why it's got three MPPTs. If you want to go with a single phase, you have only two MPPTs. And only eight and 10 kilowatt three phase all in one will have three MPPTs. Right, so um, this looks like the back of an inverter. Is, it this, is. is this just an inverter in a box? It is. So the, in, uh, the inside is actually not the inverter itself. We have the PCBs actually connected with the chassis of the inverter. Right. So it's integrated. So it's not the old trick of just no. throwing it in a box and calling it a new product. No, it's it actually, is not. this is the inverter. This is the inverter. All oh, right. And yeah. hence the, the heat dissipation must be excellent. It is. So yeah. because since we've designed this in mind for a 10 kilowatt, even if you get a 5 kilowatt single phase inverter, you get an exhaust system that can handle 10 kilowatt AC yeah. inverter. So it is quite very, very uh, good heat dissipation. And we are, we have, even with our all in, uh, even with the single phase inverters, we've got some, some new heat dissipation techniques that is not actually in the market yet. Right. Yeah. Ah, cool. Well, this is an exciting unit and uh, I'm looking forward to having a play with one. Definitely, you'll get one. You'll get the first one always. Right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, see ya. Thank you. Thank you.